Today we are flying out the uh, MD452C with uh, the Aidens. It's actually quite an enjoyable plane now at 8.7. I still think it could be 8.3. Because, well, stuff like the Meteor Mark 8, the Yak 23s, Yak 30s counter this thing quite substantially and make your, your day quite hard. It's still an enjoyable plane nonetheless. I do think that the min fuel is just not enough. It's a lot of a better plane and I think that the performance at min fuel is more of an 8.7 plane. At 20 minutes it struggles a bit more but I think that 8 point, well, 7 half minutes just isn't enough. Like you, you find yourself mid situation that you have to RTB, you get followed back to base and you get strafed. Which is something I don't enjoy. I don't like being strafed so I just take a bit more fuel. Turns decently well, has decent uh, retention in the turn. Retention in the vertical isn't the best, but it, it manages. The guns are great, and overall it's a decent plane, but it's more of a support plane. Don't expect to carry too much. Completely missed the Hunter because he was looking behind me, but I could have easily killed him. But he'll be back for more later on. A5 completely misses me. Luckily I can kill him right here, because A5s are actually quite a bit of a problem in this thing. Just the Yak-23, and he's turning there, so I can extend away right now. Just as this Meteor. Meteors are things that I don't want to fight. Meteors, A5s, Yak-23s, Yak-30s, anything that turns really dumb and with some decent acceleration. Because this acceleration of the, this plane is quite poor. So anything that turns well with good acceleration really gives you a problem. So what I want to do right now is just extend away, get my energy back, use the, the quote unquote good retention in a slight climb and just reset the engagement. I got two kills from that, that little zoom in and I don't want to throw everything away. I still have some, some teammates in there so I want to like, let them keep the pressure on, let myself get my, my energy back and Hunter zooms up and, and I didn't expect that. But luckily the hunter starts to, to turn fight me, so I have all the room in the world right now. I will bleed a lot more energy than him, and he turns substantially worse, which means that I'm gonna get an easy kill here. He starts to air break me for whatever reason, otherwise he could have easily just run away. I crit him, easy kill, not a problem. Yak 30 comes for me, which is something I don't like to the look of at all. So what I do is I turn into the, the way that I will have the most room for him to turn. Going this way will provide me the longest window of him turning. If I had gone the other way, he would have instantly turned onto me and he would have been 0 0.4, 0 0.3 on me. And I would have started to dodge his shells and I would have died. I'm guessing that he's stuck. I'm not sure at this point. That's just a guess on the performance as some well, I've flown it. I've seen the, the stock spray on, him, on his shells. So this is just a guess. Just an estimated guess. See him zoom up, which is something I like. I just want some separation, more separation. Yak turtles are something you just can't fight in this thing. When you have min fuel, you might get away with it. But with the fuel load that I have, you're not gonna do a lot. Just, oh well, a lot, you're not gonna do anything. Unless he's actually just potato. So I'm gonna get my altitude back. I'm doing, gonna do an Immelman. And I'm going to zoom back, because that FJ4 is going to need help. What I hope is that the FJ4 is going to prolong the turn fight as long as he can, and bleed as much speed of those, those four people over there as, as he can. There's a Meteor, a Yak-30, and both of those planes are a pain in the ass to fight in this thing. The FJ4 isn't much of a problem, but Trollo isn't the worst pilot in the game, which is quite an understatement. And he's a lot faster than me. And my teammate dies. I only have the F2H in the background. And the F2H is a, quite a bad plane. So I'm not really going to rely on him. As of now. Krillo presents himself. He's quite slow. Easy pick. I know that he's not going to be able to, to dodge my shells easily. So I'm going to go for him instead of for the Meteor. Because if I go for the Meteor and he dodges my shells, it's going to be a wasted angle. Instead, I want to go for the FGA, that's going to be... Like, he's not going to be able to dodge my shot. So it won't be a wasted opportunity of a shot. So now it's 2v1 instead of 
a potential steel tree v1 here you see what i'm going with this i want to extend away from the act 30 at this point i'm hoping that i can extend away because i have more energy and i still think that he's stuck at this point but i'm gonna be not pleasantly surprised by the fact that he's just gonna catch me i'm only gonna 440 and he's catching me quite rapidly I was thinking about the fact about going upright here, but I know that the Yak 30 turns really well and he was going to close the gap on me. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to extend away and hope that the F2H has a brain. So I'm asking him to attack the, uh, the Yak 30. And Colony suppressed. Impressed. Actually, just massive props to this guy. Because he is actually, he is actually coming over here. Like, this is something I really like to see. Teamwork. I have a chat command, I use it, and he actually listens. So now we can 2v1 the Yak 30. Yak 30, believe it or not, still has the advantage. If he plays it right. Of course, if I play it right, because it's 2v1. If I keep the pressure on in a good way. And he has a lot of trouble. What I want to do right here is because the F2H is such a bad plane in the, the way of turning. I just want him to get him on me. That's a very bad wording. I just want the Yak 30 on me. I want the defensive flight because I know that the Yak 30 has quite a bit of trouble getting guns on at these speeds. And the 23s are hard to aim. And I know that the F2H has quite some guns. A and M3s pack quite a punch. So what I want to do is just distract this Yak 30 so the F2H can just slot on the 6 and hose him down. Yak 30 feels the pressure and he breaks off. F2H won't get the shot, but I know that what I, if I can turn on him now, I can pressure the Yak 30 and there's no way at this point that he's getting away from me. Don't want to spray too much because I still need to kill two people. And I passed out in the defensive line because this is like my third game in it and I wasn't really aware that uh, I didn't have the G-suit yet and uh, yeah that almost cost me my life but luckily it didn't. Something I uh, advise you to do in defensive line when you're about to pass out try to time your neck G's in the dodge so don't just randomly neck G but set up your neck G so you can use it to recover from your your G limit sounds very basic but it comes down to very specific timing um, because I use my G suit timing like in the back of my head because I've been doing that for quite some time with say the Sabres and every other plane that I've been flying for quite some time it's normal for me but of course this thing doesn't have the G suit yet so it kind of threw me off the Meteor is landing right now and the F2H looks to be going for the Meteor on the landing strip. Or he's going to be covering the Meteor on the landing strip. So I just want to go for the T4 in the meantime. Maybe land in the process. Because this thing starts to overheat about 7 minutes in. So pretty much your min fuel load. On 100%. The, the overheat isn't that bad. Like it's totally manageable. But it can still be a nuisance. But when you run on like 95, 97%, it's mostly just fine. Luckily. The T4 looks to be rather low. So what I want to do is dive even lower. So I can go, well, lower. And the lower you are, the lower the chances are that he's gonna auto spot you. Unless he's gonna be looking right at you with his gun of you, which I doubt, because he just bombed. I want to shoot and his AI gunners started shooting at me but I saw that his gunners were still looking behind him which means that he isn't looking behind it like in front of him with his own gunners which means he isn't like actively looking around with his gunners and the auto gunners will not shoot at you in Aero B until 700 meters when they're aced most people don't have expert or ace crew on bombers so I wasn't too worried about getting hosed down that's why I waited so long to shoot so I could actually wait till the last second and hit every shot I shoot without getting really risked, uh, getting a risk of shot down. If I do see his gunners, like 
aim right at me. I will shoot at longer ranges, of course, because I'm not going to risk getting ranged by uh, by T4 at 1.3 kilometers. And whether say a B29 or a B17, you can't really see that. But we are TU4, and of course I have a pretty big screen, and I sit away from it for like half a meter. The TU4 23s are very, very long, and you can clearly see them. And that's the only reason I, uh, I dare to do that. Otherwise, I wouldn't dare. Of course, it helped that I was straight below him, and I was quite confident that he wasn't looking at me. Meteors are very squirrely. And you will see that, that he doesn't really have the most trouble trying to dodge us. Meteors are, and Yak 30s again are pretty much the hard counters of this thing. And at this point it's pretty much a matter of cleaning up. And the F2H really really helped me a lot. The F2H wasn't gonna kill him. Just by the simple fact that the Meteor wasn't a bad pilot. Like he knew how to dodge. But because I kept the pressure on and so did the F2H. The F2H kept on him in a way that I could boom and zoom him forever. Like he can dodge both of us. I almost hit him there and I still have 80 rounds. Only two guns. Aidens only need a few shells. Meteors are very durable. But Aidens back quite a punch. Seven kills. With the help of the F2H. And the moral support of Vodka. On my voice comms, which you can't hear. Thank you all for watching. I'm just gonna let the result screen run in case you like that sort of stuff. There won't be anything else in the, the end of the video. But thank you all for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.